coronavirus outbreak is showing no signs of slowing down. The last 24 hours brought the most cases of the virus in a single day, including new cases in the U.S. Michael George reports on the new evacuees arriving from China. U.S. officials say as many as 1,000 Americans need to leave Ubei Province, China, where coronavirus is spreading. It's safest for these Americans who are healthy and not known to be infected to be brought home. Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas, is expecting a flight with as many as 250 passengers on Friday. They'll be monitored on board and then quarantined on base. Each passenger will have um, symptom checks multiple times a day. Camp Ashland in Nebraska is also preparing temporary lodging for passengers. Some evacuees have already arrived in California. Priscilla Dickey and her daughter are in isolation. They're basically going to make sure they, they're keeping a really good eye on us. In Wisconsin, an American who tested positive for coronavirus at a Madison hospital is in isolation at home. He recently returned from China. Officials say nearby residents should not be concerned about contamination. The overall risk we face is very low. We are at a much greater risk of getting influenza. influenza. Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak, has begun converting gymnasiums and convention centers into temporary hospitals to care for patients with mild symptoms. There are more than 28,000 confirmed cases in China, and the death toll has surpassed 500. World health officials say there's no vaccine to prevent infection and no medications to treat it. To put it bluntly, we're shadow boxing. Researchers at the U.S. National Institutes of Health say they've engineered a key ingredient for a vaccine and hope to begin testing in April. Michael George, CBS News.